All right, uh, let's look at the uh, inverse hyperbolic functions uh, using log. All right, uh, if you remember that the definitions of uh, hyperbolic functions are in terms of exponential function. So it makes sense to express uh, inverse hyperbolic functions using log functions because uh, log functions are the inverses of uh, exponential functions, right? All right, so uh, uh, let's take a look at these. All right, inverse hyperbolic sine of x is equal to, is identical to, uh, natural log of uh, x plus square root of x squared plus 1. And the inverse uh, hyperbolic cosine of x is equal to natural log of uh, x plus square root of x squared minus 1. And the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x is identical to 1 half times natural log of 1 plus x over 1 minus x. All right. So uh, let's uh, prove uh, maybe number 4. All right. So here. Let's try to find, uh, uh, you know, inverse hyperbolic cosine of x. So we're going to start with uh, y equals uh, inverse hyperbolic cosine of x, right? Then we're trying to find y, right? All right, so what we're going to do is, uh, I, uh, you know, I'm going to apply hyperbolic cosine to both sides. So you have a uh, hyperbolic cosine of y is equal to uh, just x. All right, but the hyperbolic cosine of y by definition is uh, e to the y plus e to the negative y over 2. That's equal to x, All right? So we got an equation we, we're trying to solve for y. All right, so first I'm going to get rid of 2 by multiplying both sides by 2. So you have uh, e to the y plus uh, e to the negative y is equal to uh, 2x. All right, then I'm going to actually multiply, uh, so to get rid of this negative power, I'm going to multiply through by e to the y. All right. Then you have uh, e to the y squared. And uh, e to the y and e to the negative y are reciprocal of each other. If you multiply out, you're going to get 1. Then you have uh, e, uh, 2x times uh, e to the y. All right. Then I'm going to uh, move uh, the term on the right over to the right-hand side. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm going to go up here. All right, so I'm going to simply uh, add, uh, or actually subtract, 2x e to the y. All right, so we can see that you have uh, e to the y squared, and we're going to have a minus uh, 2x e to the y plus 1 is equal to 0. And you can see that this is actually a quadratic equation in e to the y. So I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So we have 1. 1 is uh, a value. And so this, maybe I should write that. So this is um, a. And uh, this is going to be b. And uh, C is 1. So I'm going to use those uh, for quadratic formula. All right. So by quadratic formula, we know that uh, either the Y is equal to, all right, negative B. So you have a 2X uh, plus or minus square root of uh, B squared. Uh, so it's going to be 4X squared minus 4 times a is 1, c is 1, so it's going to be 4, divided by 2 times a is 1, so just 2. All right. Then to clean it up, I'm going to, uh, let's see, 2x um, plus or minus 
you can see that this uh, 4 can be pulled out. So it's square root of 4 is 2. And you have a square root of, uh, so 4 is pulled out. So x squared minus 1. And divide through by 2. All right, so you can see uh, 2 on top and 2 on the bottom cancel out. So you're going to get the uh, x uh, plus or minus square root of uh, x squared minus 1. All right. Then uh, we have, let's see, so we, we'll try to isolate y, right? So y is the guy we're interested in. So it makes sense to um, uh, take the natural log of both sides. So you have a y by itself because natural log and exponential function cancel out. All right, then you have a natural log of, right? So you have uh, x uh, plus or minus square root of x squared minus 1, right? And then uh, one last thing, uh, since, um, all right, uh, let's see, we have the restriction on the x value for uh, a hyperbolic cosine, because otherwise we can't find the inverse. So x was greater than or equal to 0, right? When you take the inverse, uh, so it becomes a y has to be greater than or equal to 0. All right, but if you pay attention here, if you have x minus square root of x squared minus 1, that's going to be less than 1, uh, which, which will make uh, natural log negative. So we don't want that. So we're going to pick uh, positive 1 there. All right, so therefore, uh, y, which is uh, uh, inverse uh, hyperbolic cosine of x, is equal to natural log of x plus square root of x squared minus 1. All right, so that verifies uh, uh, number four. All right, and uh, you can verify number three and number five almost exactly the same way. So I let you guys try that. But uh, so these are the uh, expression log expressions for inverse hyperbolic functions. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.